What's up, YouTube? It's me, Prometheus, and Steph, and this is the Fast of Life. Welcome back. Yeah, apparently I offend people with my openings. <laughs> you know what I gotta say to you people? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright. Jesus Christ. That's why I get kicked out of freaking group channel. Today we wanted to answer probably the most common question about our lifestyle as pretty much I'm sure if you are on this specific lifestyle a bunch of other people have asked you this. They have asked you what is keto? When and you, why? Yeah when you tell them oh I'm on the keto diet or I'm the ketogenic diet and they'll just they ask you what is that? And then as soon as they explain, the following question is, why? That's bad for you. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of like you're trying to explain, like, it, like rocket science to them. Pretty yeah. much. Because you could tell them, I have to eat fats, I have to eat protein. But if I eat an apple, I'm going to gain five pounds. And they don't know, they can't comprehend that. And the reason why they can't is we all grow up knowing that eating fruits, eating salads, and eating a low-carb diet is good for you, but keto is totally different for people, and if you do think about it, um, keto is you changing your whole entire body and how it works, and we're going to explain that, and that's why you do go into something called the keto flu because you are completely changing your whole entire body system. So it, it is, it's hard for people to understand and concept that eating bacon and steaks and chicken all day long and your protein, like, it's good for you. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people have, like, older family members like, oh, he died from high cholesterol. He died from a heart attack because he ate too much pork chops. Eat too much bacon. I get it a lot, especially from family, like my my mom and my mom's uh, boyfriend. Like they get mad at me for eating too many eggs or too much bacon or whatnot, and they don't understand. I've explained it too much that I just ignore it now. But I'm gonna tell you, people, if you if you are already on this lifestyle, you already know your cholesterol is straight. Your cholesterol is good. Mm -hmm. I, have, I used to have high triglycerides and high cholesterol. My triglycerides are at the lowest I've ever been. And I don't have high cholesterol. My, my good cholesterol, I forget which one is which, HDL and LDL. I always forget which one's which. But they are both in levels that they should be at. Back to what we originally wanted to answer. What is the ketogenic diet? What is keto? So keto is a diet that um, contains of you eating high fats, moderate protein, and low, low carbs. So that means that your fats on a keto diet, you wanna stay between 65 to 70% of your daily ca calorie intake. So 65 to 70% of what your calorie intake is for that day should be fats. That is, this just to, just to clarify, this is for the standard mm -hmm. ketogenic diet. This isn't this isn't anything to do with TKD or CKD. TKD and CKD. I'll I'll make a video about those later. That's mainly for people that bodybuild. This is you starting into yeah, keto. This, this is, is for beginners. Yeah, for beginners. Um, and then your protein should make up at least twenty to thirty percent of your daily calorie intake, which is roughly about 0.8 to one gram. Well, no. Let's let me let me make that a little bit easier. 0.6 to 1 gram of protein per lean body mass, per pound of lean body mass. So if you weigh 150 pounds or 160 pounds, but your lean body mass is only 120, you're taking about 100 to 120 grams of carbs, uh, not carbs, protein per day. And then your carbs. Now, you are going to intake carbs. You should intake carbs. But a lot of people, and this and this is where it gets tricky because a lot of people say for beginners, you should start off with at least 20% a day. We didn't. We started off with at least 5 to 10% of carbs a day. Yep. And 
we researched a lot of this so that we can give you guys the correct information and not just what we're doing. And it does say um, your your intake of carbs should be at least five percent, um, and well, that's that's veggies. And not that's really at least maximum. Maximum, 5%. yeah, my bad. Maximum of five percent of your daily um, calorie intake for your carbs should be five percent. Now we're talking, and that's you reading your labels. And most of it should come from your greens, so from your zucchini. You should intake 5% of your carbs, and most of that should be your greens. And that is going to be your veggies. Yep. Green and veggies. Pretty much stay away from sugar. Yeah. Stay away from um, fruits. Stay away from bread. Stay away from pasta. So when you're eating for a ketogenic diet, your body um, depletes, I don't know how to pronounce it, Gly glycogen? Glycogen. Glycogen. And um, once this occurs, this is how keto happens. So once that occurs, um, your liver then starts using your fats to produce keto uh, ketones. 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 For fuel. So instead of using carbs, to get energy you're not using the fats so basically once your body eats up the glycogen eats up all the excess sugar in your body your body will actually create its own sugar just just enough for you to be able to maintain a sugar a blood sugar level the liver on the other hand will will notice oh I don't have any more glycogen in me what am I gonna use I'm gonna take your fat turn it into something called a ketone which will fuel your brain, which will fuel your muscles, which will fuel the rest of your body. Like, it sounds crazy, but your body knows how to react to things. Your, the human body is like, is a, is an evolving machine. You, you give it something, it figures out a way to adapt. Figures out a way to adapt. And that's, that's what it does. That's what your body does. Not everyone's gonna benefit off of it. Some people are are not as are not as insulin resistant. Like for someone that gains weight very easily by eating carbs, more likely you may be insulin resistant, which may lead you to being diabetic. So this is something that you may want to look into. Like really look into if you are diabetic or if you are possibly gonna be diabetic. Or borderline. From, yeah, from weight gain. Or nothing, nothing that you've tried has worked. Definitely give it a try. Now, um, another question that a lot of, or comments or whatever, um, is why do you do it to yourself? Um, it's not healthy, all that stuff. So, you can research it. It is a very, very healthy diet to actually be on. It is a great lifestyle to be on a cheap lifestyle um, to be on. Now, it's a good diet, but... There are drawbacks. Yes. If you do decide to go off of it and you get off of it for a few months, you will gain... Your scale will go up. If you're exercising, you're most likely gaining muscle because you're carb, you're carb cycling. So that's what's going to happen. You're all gaining muscle. Um, there's a lot of cons and pros and all that stuff. Yeah. We're not going to really get into a lot of that right now. We just want to tell you guys what keto is. Yeah. Like, just to give an example, for me, the example of myself, we can't got kind of got off of it, like we said in another video, we kind of got off of it during the holidays. But I stayed lean. I, I stayed lean. I didn't... Like, basically, what my body did was, it's not as insulin resistant as it once was. Like, being able to eat carbs, like, or eating carbs and some sugar, it doesn't affect me as it did before, where I, it just packs on the fat. It actually brought the nutrients in different places, like what insulin is supposed to do. Not like what it does when you are resistant, where it takes your fat and stores it. But yeah, that's just a quick example. So, it, when you are adapting to eating fat, when your body's adapting, it is called being in ketosis. Once you are in a ketosis state, 
your body, the first form of energy that it will look for will be fat. So if you have excess fat cells, of course it's going to attack that first because it doesn't have excess carbohydrates in your body, excess things to excess carbs to turn into sugar, which your brain will function on, which is easier for it to, to process, but has less energy. That's why they call it a sugar crash. If you have excess fat, you have just abundance of energy with no crash. Like, how do you crash? Like, no one ever said, ah, oh, I got a fat crash. No, it doesn't happen. One of the best things about the, ke the ketogenic diet is that it's very, it's very muscle, muscle, uh, friendly. muscle preservation friendly. It actually helps you preserve muscle instead of instead of just losing it. Instead of just losing your muscle by, you know, not by lowering your lowering your calories so much, because number one thing I said earlier, protein. Protein is the building block for muscle. You have enough protein in your body, your body will not need to destroy muscle in order to create to create glycogen in order to help fuel your muscles. You have enough, you have you have either the right amount you can you can miss here and there it's not going to hurt you you can have a little over and I don't believe in this gly gly gluconeogenesis your body does that automatically that is why I said earlier your body does make its own glucose it does make its own glycogen so um we talked about what really what keto is we talked about why we talked about it is a healthy diet um, something that I really I want to go over real quick um, is how do you calculate your carbs like if we have a bottle of ranch because we eat ranch all the time it's just an example mm -hmm. how do you know what carbs to actually calculate that are bad for you well what you're what you what she's asking is what are the actual net carbs that you calculate that you would put that you would read off or that you would mark down yeah. in your in your in your diary what you're gonna look for is carbs and fiber you can take your carbs and because for whatever reason companies count fiber as carbs so you take the you take the carbs and fiber you subtract the fiber from the carbs and the number you get left is the net carbs which is the actual carbs that you're gonna have to worry about or you have to not really worry about have to make sure that you count those fiber you're gonna get fiber regardless because you're eating greens and veggies like that is your fiber so for an example if something says that the, the no, yeah we don't have anything I don't have anything um, that the carbs are 30 grams of carbs but the fiber is 25 grams of fiber how would you do that what was it <laughs> 30 grams of carbs but 25 grams of fiber oh that'd be 30 minus 25 equals 5 5 grams of net carbs so which you... should be your whole entire day's worth you're oh. okay oh no never that's mind only, sorry that's yeah. only a part of your day yeah. your maximum when you're beginning is 25 grams 5% it's roughly about 5% but I like to stick to 25 grams. That's a number, a solid number that you can that you can count on. You don't have to try to figure it out. You don't have to try to do additional math. It's 25 grams. Two five. Whatever side. Once I edit the video, two five. And that's how you count. Your yeah. And if you want, if you want to know additional information about, like. Any beginner things, you know, if you're just getting into ketosis, uh, getting into the ketogenic diet, you have additional questions, feel free to reach out. I'll actually put our, both our um, social media accounts in the description and feel free to reach out to us. I don't buy, I just seem mean, but I'm not really mean. I might, I might give you a smart ass answer, but <laughs> you can tell that's just me. He's a good He's a good guy, you guys. I wouldn't be with him if he wasn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, 
I'm I'm really not as jer- as much of a jerk as I seem. I just I just seem like a jerk. But <laughs> yeah, that's for another and, day. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll talk about that if you do reach out to me. We'll talk about why I'm a jerk sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, so um, yeah. Well, more? I have nothing else to say. I just hope that you guys, you know, take this with a grain of salt. Not everything is, you know, perfect for somebody else. It might be perfect for me. This is something that I feel is perfect for me. Mm-hmm. She may feel it's perfect for her. But if you do want to try it, you know, reach out. Definitely reach out. I'll be more than happy to help you out, you know, help walk you through as much as I can. I can't be the one to feed you. But I will do everything I can to answer every question you may have. And that's another thing that I kind of want to touch on real quick. Um, We have friends who have actually reached out and started this diet because of us. Um, And they'll let us know like, hey, you know, we're going to go out this place because for a a special occasion, what do you think I should eat? Or, hey, um, I don't know what to go, you know, I'm going to the groceries, what should I get? And we take the time and help them out. So that, that doesn't bother us at all. But something I do want to let you guys know is um, whatever you eat, if we tell you, like, hey, this is what you should probably eat if that's where you're going to go, like, we'll take the time and research it for you. But at the end of the day, you're not lying to us. If you eat more carbs, if you go bad that day, it's not going to, he's not going to gain weight, I'm not, it's not going to affect us. You're just lying to yourself, you know. So make sure if you do do this, like, just just be on it you know like be true to yourself and if you fall off the wagon one day get back on it the next day or on your next meal don't even wait for the next day on your next meal um but yeah so remember it's all on you but we're here to help yeah like this is just advice enjoy it. thanks for watching guys it's been fun we'll see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe and like and share yeah <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>